Dr. Jaffe, this is a very interesting question. Is tea alkaline to the body or acidic to the body? Well, I'm gonna try and answer that question accurately. Which tea are you talking about? Are you talking about black tea, green tea, silver needle white tea, or perhaps an herbal tea, like India spice tea? It's a very rich tea. It has no caffeine, but it has lots of stimulating molecules, but it has a lot of fluoride. And I at one time was enjoying lots of India spice tea, and I did my LRA by ELISA ACT test and it came up reactive to fluoride. Now I don't have fluoride in my toothpaste. I don't have fluoride that I know of in my house. So I thought about what the results meant and then I checked and I found that India spice tea has a lot of fluoride in it. So you should drink a wide variety of teas. Then you don't have to be so concerned about the chemistry of a specific tea. Black teas are more acidic. Silver needle white teas, which are tend to be expensive, are alkaline. And more than importantly, the slight aromatic nature of the beverage says that there are lots of polyphenolics, like coercin and dihydrate and soluble OPC, but polyphenolics, which are very important. And by the way, you brew white tea at 170 degrees, whereas boiling, like for making coffee, is 212. Really? Yes. If you put boiling water into white tea, the delicate aromatics that you're interested in that help you come off. They volatilize. They go into the air. They don't help the air. They just go into the air. So I recommend white tea. I recommend green tea. I recommend spice tea. But I recommend you have a variety of teas. Because if you eat or drink a specific kind of tea to the exclusion of all others, you might, might create an imbalance. So if I can, I drink white tea. Occasionally, I have spice tea. I often have green tea. I almost never have black tea. So on a technical basis, black is more acidic, white is more alkaline, and more importantly, the white teas have rich polyphenolics and other molecules that are good for you. In fact, in China, what people often do is in the morning, they pour some warm water into a white tea ball or the, the tea leaves. And then throughout the day, they continue to add water to it. That's the most economical use of white tea. But if you like the white tea and you can afford it, by all means. If you can't afford it, stay away from black tea. Occasionally you can have a cup of course, like occasionally a cup of coffee. But consider black tea more like coffee and less like um, the gift of nature that we want. <laughs>